Christmas got together recently and put on the play called The Vagina Monologues. The play is, is um, actually a play that was written by an American lady called Eve Ensler. And it's called The Vagina Monologues. And people are shocked when you say The Vagina Monologues. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that was... yeah, that's the whole essence of it. It's there to shock people. And it's a play all about women, the things women go through, the way women are treated. It's a play about, a, you know, open up, opening up awareness about women and how women should be treated, what problems we're having here, not just in Africa, but generally everywhere in the world, you know. And um, the proceeds are going to um, a, a shelter called Sophie's House, which is a shelter for women. They take in battered women and women that have been abused by their husbands or their husbands are sleeping with their children because we have all these things happening in Nigeria but we try to deny it. Oh no, we don't have this yeah, here. We don't have... Exactly. It's all happening here. And uh, a few good people have been trying to build up charities that will protect women that are, that are in need because there are no... There are no laws protecting women. I mean, for instance, if your husband is beating you mercilessly every day and you go to the police station, they'll say, eh, it's a domestic uh, uh, matter. You go to your husband yes, yes. and you sort it out. Elvina. Now, if you don't you know me, don't mind her, she's my friend. Though. My name is Elvina. Thank you. Right? Don't look bad yourself. Uh, you know what there is to know about me. Yeah, I know, but. Okay, uh, my name is Elvina. Elvina Ibu. Um, I'm from Nigeria. From Delta State. I don't look as if you are from Nigeria. Well, how do Nigerians look? <laughs> my mom was uh, half Cameroonian okay. and half German. So maybe that's what, you know, this yellow. But I eat a lot. Because I eat a lot. I eat a lot of everything. So whichever one is maintaining the color, I don't know. But on the serious note, when it comes to food, we all know how to cook very well at home. Yes, I do sing, I act. I do pretty okay, much. Act. Yes. Act as well. Yeah. I did one Nigerian movie a very long time ago called End Time. And then I didn't go back to movies. I didn't particularly enjoy the experience. And then I, I stopped acting all together and opened up a studio. I have a studio called Twice as Nice Limited. Twice as Nice Limited. Yeah. And um, it's a production, a uh, digital production studio. Um, but recently, I went back on stage, which is my first love. Theatre was my first love. If you look at my logo, it's, it's a, a, a round woman. Okay. That's supposed to be me. My size represents me a lot of the time. Because in this world, people tend to look at you first. You're, you're, you're outward and here. They judge you by the way you look, the way you look. Exactly. And um, frankly speaking, God has made me the way I am. I'm not ashamed of the way I am. So instead of trying to like, oh, I want to be skinny, I want to be really bad. I am proud of the way I am. And I use it to the best of my ability. Exactly. You know? So that's why I called the company twice as well as in twice. Okay. And the logo. The yeah, the logo is one sexy okay. round yeah. chicken. Yeah, like this, you know? <laughs> twice as nice. Uh, we're, we're actually in the process now of registering the company as a recording label. Because since I started, so many artists keep coming to me. You know, I never intended to go into music as in be a recording studio or whatever. But so many artists have been coming to me and saying, oh, I tell me that this, I tell me that that. And I find myself not being able to help but help them. Yeah, <laughs> Especially yeah. if I see that they have potential. I like the way you talk. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you very much.